Hi everybody, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A. So you should know the drill by now if you pop a question down in the comment section underneath this video and use the Ask Mark hashtag in that comment. Uh, I and the Scuba Diver Magazine subscribers answer your comments in the comment section so you get an answer as soon as possible. Uh, but in a few weeks now, uh, I turn that question into a video that might hopefully better explain and uh, elaborate on the answer to your question. Uh, today I'm answering a question from GMAC about dry suit valves. So GMAC says, can shoulder dump valves be retrofitted? And if so, can you buy a kit to fit yourself or is it best to have it fitted professionally? Uh, thanks for providing these valuable videos. Looking forward to many more. Yes, you, uh, you can change dry suit valves yourself. Um, there's a little asterisk with that statement. Um, there's, there's no real magic to it, uh, but there are special tools in a fair few cases that do make your life a lot easier and less likely to damage the valves or your suit. Um, but yeah, uh, dry suit valves are pretty much, I'm trying to think of exceptions. Um, they're, they're usually just two-part valves. Uh, there's usually an anti-friction disc as well. And one part goes on the inside of your suit, one part goes on the outside, and you screw them together. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's probably going to be some weird uh, dry suit valve that I haven't seen before that does it a little bit differently. Um, but there are a few things to remember. The first one is that not all dry suit valves are the same. The two most common ones are Cytec and Apex. Uh, these are both Cytec. Yeah, um, that's that's an another another thing um, that I'll get onto on in a second because I'm talking about this. Uh, so Cytec valves and Apex valves. This is a different diameter. Uh, I forget which is larger and which is smaller. I think Apex is larger, but I could be wrong. Um, but basically, if you have like Apex valves fitted to your dry suit, you take them off and then go to fit a, um, a Cytec valve, it won't fit or it'll fit, but it'll leak uh, and vice versa. It, it just, the, the holes in the dry suit are different diameters. So do be careful with that. Double check what's actually fitted to your dry suit. Um, yeah, the two most common are Cytec and Apex. There is a oh, Mobby. I think Mares um, suits use a, a valve called Mobby and I honestly don't know the, uh, the diameter of them. Um, so double check. On most dry suit valves, uh, so this is the one from my fourth element dry suit. This is one from a, um, a waterproof dry suit, but they're both made by Cytec. And the same thing will happen with Apex valves. They they make the valve, and then you just get these little sticky logos. Um, so it's not waterproof making the valve. It's actually Cytec. It actually has Cytec written on the uh, on the inside section. Um, so that's a, an easy way if it's like secondhand and you don't really know. Apex valves tend to have Apex written on them uh, on the, the like push button and the uh, and the center of the uh, the auto dump. So um, yeah, you can swap them over. Just make sure that you get the right um, uh, the right size, the right diameter. Um, you do get special tools. Um, there's one. There's the Cytec Combi tool. Uh, around, let's see if you can see that. Uh, around the, um, the the side of these um, um, halves, you get these little notches. And you can do a lot by hand, but it's quite nice to use a tool, especially to undo them, because when they're put in in the factory, they're usually done up quite tight. And then the um, the combi tool has these little notches that will line up with them, so that when you're trying to undo it, you you get a bit of like torque to be able to uh, wrench it around. Um, so that makes your life a little bit easier. It does a few things. It's got the pizza cutter wheel for uh, for silicone neck seals. It's got some. Um, like pry sections for like silicone cuffs to be able to pry them out. Uh, it is quite a useful tool. And I think this came with a, a dry suit. So um, that just knocks around. But yeah, there's, there's no real magic 
to swapping them over. Um, you're just gonna make sure you get the right, um, right section and um, it's all plastic so make sure you don't cross thread it it should go on really easy uh, until it stops and then you tighten it up um, but yeah if you meet any kind of resistance when you're doing it up if you feel like you're having to turn it uh, then you might have cross threaded the screws it should just go on with uh, with no resistance and um yeah, yeah, it is quite easy to swap them out. It's quite good from time to time to uh, to get them out, give them a wash. Um, I did hear a case of one, I think it was a commercial diver though, uh, guy who had, I wanna say a runaway ascent because he used a lot of talc to get into the suit. Um, but that talc, of course, that you pour down the sleeve ends up around the, uh, around the auto dump and any air that kind of pushes, it clogged it up, it mixed with water, created a paste, and it basically blocked his dump valve. So he went down, did his job, kind of like adjusting his suit for buoyancy and to adjust for the squeeze. As he then comes up, his, uh, his shoulder dump wasn't venting, so he just had a, a runaway ascent. So it's quite good to keep these nice and clean, and yeah, you can take them off yourself. Um, yeah, just make sure it's nice and tight and the, uh, the sealing surface is, uh, is really clean, but it's not something that you really have to take your um, uh, take into your dive center. It probably is something that you can do yourself. It's just it's it's important that you know what size um, dump valve. I think I got a Poseidon. Yeah, I do actually. Um, Poseidon one. Uh, I imagine uh, this is just Poseidon. Yeah, so if you can see that the Poseidon one is a bit bigger, so it's it's you can't really mix and match. So if you're looking at something like a um, Santee thermovalve, to have a um, uh, a batch, an external battery with a heated undersuit, you can't just get any thermovalve it comes in two different variations uh, you get the apex sized one you also get the cytec sized one um, so yeah just double check exactly what you have fitted to your suit and um, that way you know that you're not going to get the, uh, the wrong size yeah as i said there's no great magic to it uh, it is just yeah you do get two different sizes uh, depending on who makes the valve so it's best to double check what it is if you're ever unsure yeah just pop around to your dive center and just say oh hey i want to swap this over for that um i just want to double check who made this valve and uh, and they should be able to help you out or at least measure it so that you can uh, you can find out what size um because you, you can't always work it out by the manufacturer of the dry suit itself because in a lot of cases nowadays if you're making one from scratch you can actually pick and choose which valve is fitted and they literally just cut a, a bigger hole uh, if you're using the I think it's the apex that has a larger one I could be wrong but the, they just cut a larger hole into it um, but yeah if you're unsure Head over to your dive center. I'm sure they'll help you out. Um, but no, there's there's no real like magic to it. Um, it's, it is something that you can do yourself. Something else that you can do all by yourself is uh, if you have any questions, um, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. Uh, use that Ask Mark hashtag. It gets yourself and your question featured in the up and coming video. Uh, otherwise, head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Check out all the awesome things that we do over there. Uh, subscribe to the channel as well if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, everybody. And of course, safe diving.